So, after nine years of a relationship that has went sour, I decided to end my relationship with Sprint. And I'm not going to say that it was an easy um, cut and dry ending because it wasn't. They, the guy that I was on the phone with, the customer service dude, just to even switch my service to my new uh, sailors provider, he had real stank like I was bringing up with him. And I'm just like, dude, I just want to end my service. I want to end this. I just want to get this divorce done. Yes, it's like a divorce. No, not really. But it's, it's just, I just want to end this divorce with you guys and just be cut and dry. Give me my box so I can send these phones back. And it will be tr double, triple, dipple, bipple rap. Um, so y'all won't be talking about something came broken and and everything else. I want to be done with y'all. And I don't want nothing else from Sprint. I'm over and done with nothing else. They, they don't have nothing else to say to me. I don't want nothing else from them. No lettuce, no tomato, no nothing. Okay? What is up? What is up? What is up, Charles? What is happening, my Danny? What is up? <laughs> it is your girl, your favorite Chuck Bet here. So, um, I wanted to give you guys an update to my what do you say, road to weight loss surgery. That's what they all call it nowadays. But basically my my last resort of weight loss for right now because um, if it's your first time on my channel, I have been trying to lose weight on my on this channel for three years, but I have been having difficulties, but I've been trying to lose weight for like the last 15, but I've been having some roadblocks due to life struggles and everything else. I'm not going to get into the whole gist of all that other stuff, but I decided to do weight loss surgery because I did see, I do see a bariatric medicine doctor. I've been through all the meds. I work out and everything else. I starve. So now we're going to weight loss surgery territory. So I did go to a vir the virtual seminar in November and, and it was virtual because the little virus is still around here, honey. And it did tr trickle itself over to 2021. So it was not going to go away with that dead 20 countdown. Okay. It trickled its behind right over to 21. And um, I had my first appointment with my bariatric surgeon on the 5th of January. Um, his name is Dr. Headley, and he was the one that I wanted. Um, he does have, um, he, uh, I met him way before I picked him because I do work on a surgical unit in the hospital that he um, has patients come into. And there's three bariatric um, surgeons that they had, uh, that uh, work out of my hospital, and he was the one I wanted, and I got him. And I do like him because he's straight to the point and he's a cool ass dude. And he, you know, went through the whole spiel like this might take six months and everything else because you got to see the bariatric medicine doctor. I said, look, I already, I've already, been at this doctor for three years. I took all the meds. It's not working besides just jacking up my sleep. I'm not, like, now I have to take stuff to make me sleep, as in z and stuff. I would not take, like, um, prescription medication and stuff to help me sleep because sometimes I don't sleep a full day for eight hours or I just don't want to be dependent on prescription medication and now I'm just to the point you were my last my last is what I said if nothing happens within three years or I don't get that significant amount of weight off within that next that last three years then it's going to the next phase which is weight loss surgery which I always said the gastric sleeve I didn't I never wanted to bypass um, I just wanted to dash your sleep. So he was like, I like that you were straight to the full point and you waited a certain amount of time before you jumped off the cliff to get weight loss surgery. And um, I had a nice, that, but that was my first appointment with him. I see him again on the 2nd of February. So I see him in a couple of weeks. And then um, I see a diet dietitian. I have to see her basically, well, I saw her last month um on the 31st and then i saw her yeah i saw her on the 31st and um i saw her like yeah i saw her on the 31st and it was a body comp where she take your bone mass and measure your body and stuff but i did see her in december the beginning of um of december um for just the first visit and to see you know 
um to give like a um a rundown of what she you know what she does for us and everything else and i get this little binder here which is endeavor health weight management and this is the book here and basically this i have to bring this every time i go there and it's basically information and and about your post-op and your pre-op and you know your nutrition and everything is in this book in this um binder you bring to the office with you for your appointments every time you go see her and then at the beginning she puts a test in the front in the beginning so you gotta take this test and she grades you but i'm just like back in high school okay girl so but i go there and then she wants you to document your meals you know my fitness pal or some app and everything else i just use my fitbit app and document my meals on there I, and i told her i'm not perfect there may be a day that i might forget not skip and i might skip a meal because like in the mornings if i'm not hungry i'm not going to force myself to eat because i just i just don't want to get to the point where i have to get up and make myself eat if i'm not hungry i'm not going to make myself eat. i'm not going to make myself eat but she understood that like if i have a later time that i will eat then that's fine but um i just gotta get in the habit of doing that because that's new to me and um also i had to book um appointment to see a therapist but that's virtual too i don't have to go into an office because you have to get clear by a psychotherapist to make sure that your mind is right for the process that you're going to be going through and everything else i talked to her I, I talked to her before but i talked to her last month and then i talked to her again um in a couple of weeks and then i have so many appointments in february so i have an appointment on the fourth with the uh pulmonologist and i see and that then i have to see a pulmonologist and a cardiologist to be cleared for surgery so they have to check me out to make sure i'm okay to have surgery at all if i get a no-go then I won't, I won't have any surgery whatsoever so i get a clear from i go see the um pulmonologist on the fourth and then i see the cardiologist on the 11th and then i get go to a follow-up with my bariatric surgeon on the second and then i go see the dietitian this friday on the 29th and then i go see my endocrinologist on the on the fifth of next month. i'm like honey who all these appointments y'all done just made a cool crisp like 200 dollars of copay off of my black ass already okay and i'm just like look whatever i need to do to give myself in a better health it just needs to be done okay so basically that's all my appointments but after i do all those appointments and i get and get get all results back then i'm gonna do another update after all those appointments are done and that's basically the update because i'm just tired of this this roller coaster that i'm on with my weight now i i recently got on my on my scale and um i am at 296 now and then people are like well you know un, you know you gotta understand you just lost your grandmother and everything else i get that i, I know that body is stressed and i'm stressed and everything else but this is like not just that but i've been going through 15 years of all this and i pick up 10 pounds a year uh, between 20 in my early late 20s up until now and i'm just like i'm not and then I, i've been stalling and i do work out and everything else so i'm about over and tired okay so and another thing i do not have a gym membership anymore and because now with the malt lick virus taking over and, and and leaving us with the um um the capa the, the gym capacity at 10 percent um the and this is january so it's the new year new me crowd um there was like four or five times i had to wait in my car for like an hour and a half just to get in the gym so i was like you know what i'm over and done with this i said just cancel me out i'll wait till it get better again so i bought me a little station well i bought me a little uh, bought me a bike for my house and um i do my workouts um my leslie Simpson which I had to bring myself back into getting into workouts to two or three days out the week. Right now I'm doing two and I'm gonna add that third day, but I'm gonna put in um, the little clip of me putting some of the bike together. I had another clip into it, but I think I deleted it by mistake. But there's a little clip of me um, putting the bike together and me using the bike. These are all my pieces and they're not as many as what I thought they would be. So, um, 
I will be putting this together. So I'll see how this goes. This is my instruction right there. And I um, will see how that goes. So let's get into it. And that's pretty much it and, and it works fine with me and um the seat is comfortable i ain't got no problems and um it was smooth real good it's quiet and everything else but i did read some reviews and one review just it sounded real set where this lady was like yeah i'm 350 which the capacity is 300 you know you buy the you know sometimes you buy things where you would test the weight limit, you, you know, you'd be like, yeah, it says to something, something, but you know, maybe I push it a little bit, but you know, this, this review basically was like, yeah, I'm 350, and, and as soon as I sat on it, the, the seat broke off, and then a, another reviewer said they was about 500 some pounds, and it worked just fine for them. Hmm. I tried to find that review, I couldn't find it, like, where is that review, like, because I couldn't find that one, but somebody lied, but I'm just like, I was like, what? It's this much, and you broke the seat. First of all, was you 350 or was you plus 350? I'm like, girl, but to each his own. But I had no problem with it so far. And um, once everything gets better, then I'll go back to the gym. Um, and also, I just did a little, little short clip of a review of me trying these. I had tried the just to try them, which is the goalie gum uh, apple cider vinegar gummies that everybody's trying. I just happened to just like let me get out of my system and try them. Now I started these like a month and a half ago, maybe like that. I only got three bottles. Maybe yeah, I only got three bottles. And um they're pretty good. You, you know, you still feel that that zing of the apple cider vinegar. I never had no problem taking apple cider vinegar. It doesn't taste it doesn't taste bad to me at all. But my thing is is that if you're fasting in, in the morning, then they want you to take this. You can't take this in the morning because of the fact that per gummy, they're like 15 calories per gummy. So if you're looking to take that in the morning, you can if you're fasting. You can't because you already broke your fast just taking that. And the fact that I know it has like B12 and all that stuff. I, I have vitamins for that. And um, like I said, I had no problem taking the vitamin, the, 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 the apple cider vinegar shots. And they say, oh, it saves your enamel and stuff like that. I take it before I brush my teeth. And then I, I take the shot and then I brush my teeth. And I'm fine with that. But it's just another gummy sweet thing. And I'm just like, nothing wrong with it. I just, I just not going to be buying it again. I just wanted to get it, taste and see how it is. Tastes just fine. And, but I see like ads where they have it on cupcakes and all types of crazy BS. And I'm just like, no, nah, no, nah, you, you, can, you can miss me with that. But um, I just wanted to try it, and it was actually it was pretty decent. But will I buy it again? Absolutely not, because it just don't seem like it's worth it for me to buy. 
So, basically that's um, the end of this video. But once I get all my appointments over and done with, I will have a follow up and um about what happened with all those appointments. So, I hope everybody have a good week. It is Sunday and I'm going to chill out and um probably watch a Roseanne marathon because ain't nothing really much to do today. And they talking about real bad snow tomorrow morning. And I ain't doing nothing then. I already got my, my wash done and everything else. I'm just going to be chilling. Okay. So I hope everybody have a good week. And I don't have to tell y'all what y'all need to do. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen. So everybody have a good day. Good night. Good evening. All that jazz. And you know what I say. Stay true. Stay you. And I holla back at you. Boom.